Hello darlings, it is almost new moon time and new moon time is so juicy and so wonderful uh, because it is an opportunity for us to do like the moon does and what the moon does um, is it kind of, if on the new moon it's in the dark which is to say it's a great, if we're aligning with that energy, right? We are taking this opportunity to kind of come back in, check in with ourselves um, do a little bit of exploration and connecting to that which is most important to us, that which is true in, within us, right? So life can get hectic and we can get our, on our to-do list and what we should be doing and, and all of this energy that we pour out into the world um, is balanced in that new moon time when we really allow ourselves to go in. So each new moon falls in a different sign of the zodiac. So whether you believe in astrology or not, not important. Um, it's simply a springboard of which we create the new theme. So let me explain that a little bit. So the new moon is going to fall in the sign of Pisces. Now Pisces is the last of all of the 12 zodiac signs and is said by some astrologers to be um, sort of like the sum of all the parts of the other zodiac, like the highest evolution. So often it's associated with um, higher consciousness, inner happiness, psychic ability, um, compassion, universal love. So it is actually the compassion bit that we're going to zero in on because compassion is one of the most healing forces in the world. The compassion says, I love you, I accept you just as you are. Okay, and we are going to turn that focus inward. And here's why. Into a self-compassion, a self-love. And um, here's why. In the Kundalini tradition, for instance, the teachings there say that women are 16 times as powerful as men spiritually, yet 16 times more insecure. So it kind of levels that out, you know what I mean? And, and, and what we're working at is building up the women. That's what the Wild Woman Project is about. It's about bringing that wild feminine forward and, and finding the value in the feminine in a world that has been, for the past few thousand years, been really, really uh, valuing the masculine and um, really devaluing the feminine sometimes to extraordinary extremes. Okay, so we're, we're balancing that out. So the theme this month is the audacity of self-love. So the self-love part is the water to the plant. We cannot love the world. We cannot love our children. We cannot love our lovers. We cannot bring love onto the planet when we do not love ourselves, whenever we look in the mirror and we say, ugh. So we're healing that. Don't judge yourself for it. We're healing that. We're healing it. So that self-love is going to be like the waters. Um strengthening the plant, okay? The audacity part implies that there's a large amount of courage that goes into that. There's a lot invested in the world in um, telling you as a woman and even as a person that you're not enough, that you actually should look this way or do this thing and maybe if you get this and that degree, you'll be smart enough. You'll be beautiful enough if you do this, if you look like this, etc. Like kind of like, you know, I know you were born here on this planet, but you really have to prove that that wasn't a mistake, right? We're getting rid of that whole thing. We got to shift that because that is not natural and it is not feminine. So instead we are stepping into the reality that we were born here and what that means is we belong here, just as we are, just as we are. And because that is such a freaking revolutionary idea, the simplicity of actually you just, you, you belong here, you don't have to do anything. You belong here just as you are, thank you. 
That's it. That's all we need is you just to be here. That's such a revolutionary concept in the world we currently inhabit. It takes a large amount of strength to do it. When we start talking about self-love, a, a lot of judgment comes up. Okay? So, hear that. And hear that that's just a reflection of the world and the society that we've grown up in. But we are making something new. Okay? So have faith in that. Have faith in the fact that you loving yourself will make you stronger. And you being stronger in the world will heal the planet. Just keep on that faith. Keep on that faith. Keep on that faith. And hold your sisters up and your brothers too. Okay? And that if you're interested in exploring this um, idea and kind of making it actionable and finding practices for it. There's a few ways that you can do it. The first one is uh, you can join a wild woman circle, which are happening all over the country. That is the United States and one in Canada. And if you're not uh, near one physically, you can even call in. And of course, there's a circle, lane, a circle leader training online that you can always sign up for at any hour of the day and get started with that and start one in your own community, which would be exciting, right? So in, in the circles, you would, you would meet in your community, and those are all by donation. Another way you can explore this concept would be with me personally in New York City. I do a, a workshop once a month to explore the theme of the month. So it's a three-hour workshop. Um, I think it's a March 23rd. 1 to 4 New York City. I hope you can be there. Or you can get on our list if those two options are not available to you or not it's not the right time. Just get on our list and you'll get tips and practices and rituals every Sunday that uh, will help you in your personal practice, your personal exploration. Um, so it was great talking to you and I will see you next month and hopefully I'll see you in a circle or a workshop or on our list. Have a great month.